<laughs> Welcome to the morning ship. That was my impression of the flash. That's all I can give you this morning. Today we we're talking about Comic Con here at the Mississippi Trademark. It's going to be going on all weekend long. Listen, it's going to be an interesting show today. If you just didn't see the run, it's a little bit of breaking pause, but it's going to be an interesting show. We're going to talk about Crystal Springs as well because the Tomato Festival is happening this weekend. I'm feeling it a little bit. I don't think I have athletics in me anymore, Kip. Do you think so? I don't think so. Okay, so I'm going to send it back to y'all in the studio. But who's your favorite cartoon character? Because Scooby's going to be on the show, too. Oh, Daphne. Daphne, Daphne cartoon Scooby. character. Well, I've been watching Scooby. All right, today we're talking about Comic-Con, but also the Tomato Festival is happening in Crystal Springs. You don't want to miss that, and you might want to get your pen and pad ready because we're talking about how to make a wonderful homemade pizza. Stay with us. I have been to the Tomato Festival in Crystal Springs every year since it began. I always buy a tomato uh, t-shirt and love it. It's always so much to do there and so much, and my family comes from Georgia and sometimes from Wichita, Kansas to be here every year. But my family would be in tonight from the Tomato Festival from, uh, from uh, Augusta, Georgia. I am super excited. This is my first Tomato Fest ever, and I have never experienced it before. Absolutely love tomatoes, and I love people, and I cannot wait for this weekend. All right, so we're talking about Mississippi Comic Con, and Jay, you said it's going to be bigger than ever. This is going to be our biggest and best one yet. We've got Christopher Lloyd from the Back to the Future trilogy. We've got Sean Astin from Goonies and Lord of the Rings. We're going to have a ton of people out here. It's going to be a great event. So now, if I'm not really interested in these things, or I don't think I am, why do I need to come? If you just want to come and people watch, there are awesome costumes that people have made and built. So it's great to just come out and see the spectacle of it. There's vendors from all over America that are selling everything from toys to comics to swords. So there's plenty of stuff to do. Now, with the stuff to do, y'all have like a lot of panels, a lot of people that will be speaking about different things. Can you like break that down? Yeah, there's people that'll tell you how to build costumes. There's people that are going to talk about their favorite fandoms all sorts of workshops on how to build things. So you can go to those. We have Q&As with all the celebrities attending so you can go and ask questions about their career. There's video gaming, there's arcade gaming, there's board gaming. So there's so many options that you can do. So if one thing's not your thing, there's plenty of other things that will be your thing. So what is your thing? When we think about Comic-Con, what are you most excited for? I love the people's reaction. I love to see people come out and have a great time because that's why we do this. It's not for us, it's for everybody else. So that, that's the best part is when people come in and you see their faces light up, especially the kids. So now kids too. Kids get in under five for free, but what about the admission for everyone else? Actually, it's under 10 for free. So bring out the little ones. If adults pay, they get their kids in for free. Awesome. And then it's, can you give me the dates and the time? It's June 24th and 25th, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Saturday and 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Sunday. Awesome. And of course, you know I have to ask you, because there are a couple of superhero movies in theaters right now. Which one are you loving? I've always been a Spider-Man guy, so I love Spider-Man and everything to do. Spider-Man always had the most awesome art when I was growing up. The covers were just amazing, so that, that was always eye-catching. So, like, one more time, can you tell everyone who's coming and where they need to be? Christopher Lloyd, Sean Astin, we have the voice of Scooby-Doo, we have anime voice actors, we have Lou Ferrigno, who was the Incredible Hulk on television in the 80s. So there's something for all age ranges. Awesome. And you missed my Flash impression earlier today. Don't worry, I'll do it again for you. <laughs> but do you like pizza, too? I love pizza. What about homemade pizza? I really love homemade pizza. Well, if you love homemade pizza too, you might want to stay with WJTV and The Morning Sip because coming up, we're going to teach you how to make yours better. Stay with us. We are here at the three peas in Crystal Springs. What those peas? Pappas Pizza Pie. All right, and you're going to teach us how to better our pizzas at home. Correct. Okay, so what do we start with first? First, you can use your dough, and then you want to start with a flour cornmeal mixture. It could be, it could take a half a half ratio. We use an industrial size rolling pan, but any rolling pan at home is fine. You just want to roll it out, and 
we use a docker, which helps create the holes. That way it's not so bubbly. And for us, we just dock it to size. I tell my kids, you want to deal them like you deal with cards. It's a lot easier to do it that way. Does it matter how even you, you make it? Yes, because you, you want it even because if you have too much in one bite, it's all about consistency. Come see us for the tomato festival. Well, good morning and welcome back to the morning sip. Today we're inside of the trademark talking about Mississippi Comic Con and it's going to be a lot of fun. They say this is going to be the biggest one yet, so you don't want to miss it. But also in this half hour of the show, you don't want to miss hearing from Scooby Doo. We got Scooby, Shaggy and Scrappy Doo. On the morning show, I think you want to stay around to see that. It's going to be a lot of fun. And also, we're still talking about the tomato festival that is happening in Crystal Springs. That pizza looked good, guys. I'm sending it back to you, but let's just go ahead and have this debate. Does pineapple go on pizza? Yes. No. Yes. Do you realize that there are a large number of people that really, really love the live action Scooby-Doo? There really are. And, you know, I mean, I'm one of them. I mean, I did Scrappy-Doo in the live-action movie. Uh, Scrappy-Deppy-Doo. Let me at him, Uncle Scoob. I'll rock him. I'll suck him. I'll give him a big dose of puppy power. We worked uh, over in Australia on that movie. And uh, with Michelle Geller and uh, Freddie Prince and Matthew Lillard, it was fun. Linda Cardellini. And it was a super time. Roger Gosnell directed that movie. And it was just super. And it's hard to believe that's been almost 25 years ago since that. It was the biggest blockbuster of the summer and uh, and I uh, got to walk the red carpet and uh, it just, it was a great, it was a great time. I love this. So then thinking about all the fans that are gonna flood into Mississippi Comic Con, what do you enjoy about that experience? Dude, it's, I'm gonna tell you, I love meeting people. When they come walking up and they're giddy and they've got their Velma costume on or their Daphne or Freddie or Scooby and the little kids and you barrel into doing those voices, it's just, Man, it's 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 just it's it's a feeling that you can't describe, you know. And when you go into that Scooby Doo, where are you? Oh, well, I'm at Mississippi Comic Con. <laughs> I mean, these kids just love it, and I I, I get giddy doing it. I and people ask me all the time, "Do you ever get tired of doing it?" And the answer is no, never. Those are two iconic characters, and uh, I'm just again, I'm just tickled pink to be a part of it. and to meet all those people. You know, Comic Cons are a great way to meet your fans. And um, I just, I really enjoy it. Is there any last thing you want to let the people know who say, I feel, I love Scooby and all, but I don't know if I want to come. Well, here's the deal. You know, you've got Christopher Lloyd from Back to the Future. Marty, Marty! You know, Doc, are you telling me it's 825? You know, I mean, look, look at that. I mean, the history of Back to the Future alone with Christopher Lloyd, just amazing. Sean Astin from the Goonies. Hey, you guys, you know, these are monster characters that are a part of all our childhood. You've got Lou Ferrigno, the Incredible Hulk, uh, Brett the Heart, uh, Brett the Heart, man, uh, the Heart, uh, uh, Brett Hart. Uh, yeah. And uh, so you've got, you've got a little something for everybody. And then you got all these vendors and these artists and there's other people. Yours truly, Scooby-Doo, Scott Ennis going to be there. So come get your Scooby. We're bringing an entire Scooby-Doo store. Scooby merchandise, unless you're online, is real hard to find just in stores. They're sporadic. Well, I'm going to bring it all into one store. So you get to come and uh, get your shirts and all your Scooby on, your mugs, your T-shirts. We're celebrating Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island, my first Scooby movie, 25 years this September. So we've got the Scooby-Doo Zombie Island poster that we will have, limited in number. But, man, we're going to have some fun. All right. So as we wrap up our show about Comic-Con, is there anything you want to let the people know? It's a great event. Just come out. It's a blast. If you've never been, there's so much to see and do. You'll love it. And give me that rundown of who's going to be in the building. We'll have Christopher Lloyd from Back to the Future, Sean Astin from The Goonies and Lord of the Rings, so many other celebrities, voice actors, cosplayers. It's going to be a great time. Ticket prices? <laughs> you can get advanced tickets now online through our website for $30 or $50 for the weekend. Prices do go up at the door, so we suggest you buy now. You know who else is going to be there? The Flash. Bye, y'all. Have a great weekend.